This is my first video where I'm going to actually let you in on what I'm up to. Hi guys, it's another little intro. I promise I'm not going to do these every time I have a video, but as I confessed in my first video, some of these things were shot over a year and a half ago. Ugh. Yeah, I am a procrastinator and I'm trying to just get on the stick here and, and get these videos made. So thank you for bearing with me. There, there are some issues. Um, there are lighting issues. There are sound issues. Uh, I am slowly accumulating some better equipment, but when I filmed this video, I'm, uh, I have a low end sort of a budget digital camera and I kind of have a budget phone and yeah and I didn't have a decent light either so uh, thank you for being understanding about the fact that I'm just I'm just a rank beginner here on YouTube one thing that I want to clarify is that this house that I live in uh, was my grandparents house the whole time I was growing up so I mentioned my grandparents a couple times and I'm not sure that it came through that that was the case. Like, I'm not just visiting my grandparents. My grandparents have been gone for a long time. Yeah. Um, so this is a thousand square foot house. Uh, it was built in the mid 1940s and it ain't fancy people. You will never once watch one of my home videos and go, wow, that looks like stuff I saw on Pinterest. You may see little decorating elements that look familiar and popular. Um, yeah, this is an old house and it has old house problems and that's part of what I'm working with here. So here we go, let's go clean out a closet. Here it is, warts and all, cleaning out my bedroom closet. It's one of those jobs that's on my mind all the time because it's deeply overdue. Closet is small and therefore it is crammed. One of the things I have a lot of is shoes. And it's not because I'm a shoe fanatic. I don't have lots of designer shoes, but I, I haven't been throwing away shoes I don't use and don't need. And some of the shoes in my closet are really old. I'm going to set up the camera and I'm just going to let you watch the whole thing. Even the, the, the just, I know there's a whole bunch of dust bunnies. I'm trying to be real here. So I'm going to tackle this nasty job first and just let you see if there's something of value there. Okay, so I'm going to start in here. This is my room. I haven't fixed it up. I haven't made the bed. This is my real room. I usually do make the bed every day, but I didn't this morning. So here we are. This is real life. And there are a lot of issues in my room that I really want to take care of. Like one of the things you'll see in the background, the partially painted wall. I got started on that one wall kind of just to see what the paint looked like. And then I never got back to finishing it. And there's more of that. And there's a lot of clutter that I want to get rid of. But right now I'm going to focus on cleaning out my horrible bedroom closet. I'm going to cover up my bed because it's really dusty in there and I have allergies. I wouldn't be surprised if I started sneezing. I want to cover up all my bedding and I have the window open. I'm going to put things on the bed and then really clean out that closet. I might even paint the inside of the closet. It's not very big. It really, really needs to be painted. My grandparents were both smokers and my grandfather was a cigar smoker. And so even though it's not like it smells really strongly, but every once in a while there's this little, ugh, little whiff because I've never painted in there in the almost 20 years that I've lived in the house. I know, it's procrastination.
No. it doesn't fit right. I just love it on the hanger. I'm starting a maybe pile, which is not really a good idea, but I have to think about this one a little bit. My first pair of Uggs, I sewed up that toe a lot. I love my Uggs. I sort of live in them all winter and fall and early spring. I'm throwing this away. stop for a second. I just got down through the first layer of shoes and I am so grossed out by the bottom heap that I have to take a second. <laughs> I really feel like I need to like put on gloves or just go get a broom. There's so much dust just coagulated dust down in there in those shoes. Those of you who have hardwood floors, you know that dust and, you know, animal hair or human hair, every little thing that falls on the floor kind of blows out to the edges. Like that's why, you know, around the baseboards, under beds and stuff like that, you have a lot of dust bunnies and, and blech. There's a space under the closet door and Apparently a lot of dirt has just gone under there for a long time. Oh, it's so gross, I can't even stand it. So I'm going to go get the broom and just kind of sweep the whole pile of stuff out and then, I don't know what, throw it in a garbage bag. Okay, that's all. I changed clothes because my black shirt was too hot and... What I want to do while my camera is charging is just give you a, oh, brace yourself, a closer look at my closet. And I'm not kidding about the gloves. I might put a bandana on my face too. Super gross. Okay, so bad. These are some of the things you couldn't see. My dresser is covered with stuff, including dust. But all those books, and there's the tripod, of course. I'm a big reader, and I've got stacks of books everywhere, and this is just a tiny fraction. Oh, oh God, brace yourself. So here... Ah! I've been living with this. Like, I keep the shoes I wear out, and I just wear them, and then if I need some... Look at that! Look at the dirt in there. Look at the dirt on these shoes. I'm so embarrassed. Yeah, I'm going to go to work on this, and I'll get back to you and show you how it looks later after I make it a little better.
We're losing a little bit of light. I'm not going to be at this too much longer, but I want to show you the progress. So that filthy, filthy, filthy pile is now gone. Woohoo! Look at that. The closet is empty on the bottom. My husband, who is awesome, took a wet rag and wiped down the walls. They're not really dirty. They're just stained and really old paint plywood which my grandfather loved that was part of uh, fixing up the linen closet on the other side of the wall what i've done is i've left all this upper stuff here because i have a small house i don't want every single thing in my closet out in my living room so i'm gonna slap some paint as you can see got some right there it's the nicely painted closet you can't see the floor but I can guarantee you'll see it soon. It is spotless. I have to do one more coat in here on the plywood. You can see the, the grain soaking through that first coat basically just acted like a, um, a primer. It looks 100% better. The trim, this trim right here. That paint is actually the original paint. And back then they used, of course, lead-based paint. This would be an oil-based paint with lead and a high gloss. And there's even still a tiny bit of gloss to this paint. Be careful if you live in an older home. Don't go sanding stuff without testing it. There are little test kits that you can get to see if there's any lead in the paint that you're working around. I'll link below to give you an idea of a couple that we've used. And we, yep, we did determine there's lead in here. 1949, not a big surprise there. Also, you know, that's the paint that was there when my grandmother and grandfather bought the house, so I am going to be painting over it, but I wanted to record it for posterity before I did. Oh, and hey, look, my dresser. Woo, all clean, dusted, organized. Feeling good about that. This is all the stuff that has come out of my closet. Everything that was up on the top shelves. Yes, my husband is a big fan of certain cartoon animals. Over here we have two giant uh, baskets of shoes. Uh, his on the left, hers on the right. If you had asked me how many pairs of shoes I had in my closet, I probably would have guessed at somewhere around 20. I don't know exactly how many pairs are in that basket, well, and next to the basket. Those are my probable keepers. I also threw away a huge trash bag. It was so heavy, I couldn't really carry it out to the trash myself. I had to ask my husband to do it. I didn't count those either. Too many shoes is what I had, way too many. And I have a pair in this basket that I'm keeping that I really like and I had literally forgotten that I owned them and that is not okay. Here are the clothes <laughs> that we had hanging. Those are also my husband's on the right, his stuff on the left, my stuff. But I also have a trunk, an old steamer trunk that is packed to the gills with clothes that don't fit me, but I love them. And this is going to be a future project. Until the, the paint dries, we have all this in our little tiny living room. As my wonderful husband said last night, well, we have quite a lived-in look here, don't we? I now have a clean, clean closet all painted, all fresh, and for a little while, perfectly, wonderfully empty. I'm very happy. It was so gross. Now the trick is to put everything back in and have it be just slightly organized.